Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're making sangria de cava. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ultimate holiday cocktail, yet it's refreshing enough for a hot summer's day. And let me tell you, this is the easiest cocktail you're ever gonna make and the flavors are gonna blow your mind. Serve this sangria at your next party and everybody's gonna go wild over it. Now to make this recipe, I am using some Spanish cava. For those of you that are not familiar with cava, it is a sparkling wine that originates from Eastern Spain, very similar to champagne, but with its own distinct flavors. To make this sangria, you can use whatever type of sparkling one that you want, but I do recommend that you use Spanish cava as it gives it that beautiful magical flavor. Guys, minimal ingredients comes together within minutes. Let's dive right in. To make this sangria, I'm going to use a very simple, beautiful combination of fruits. You can use whatever you like here, but this combination works the best with that Spanish cava and the brandy. I've got some green grapes. These are seedless, some kiwis, some fresh strawberries, one lemon, and one orange. We're gonna begin by cutting up our fruits first. I've got two kiwis here. I like to cut off the ends first. That way you can easily stand it up and then remove the skins. And we'll cut each kiwi into quarter inch slices. Next up, I'm gonna grab about six fresh strawberries. Again, I like to cut off a little bit from both ends and then cut it into quarter inch pieces. And as you guys know, make sure you wash your fruit before you start cutting it. And for the final fruit to cut, I'm gonna grab between 12 to 15 green grapes. Again, these are seedless. I'm gonna cut each one in half lengthwise. All right, let's start assembling our sangria de cava. I'm gonna add all the fruits that we just cut into a large pitcher. Next up, I'm gonna add in half a cup of orange juice. This one is store-bought, not from concentrate, with no pulp. We'll grab a lemon, squeeze in about one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna measure out a quarter cup of Spanish brandy. If you don't wanna use brandy here, you can also use gin or vodka. It works perfect with the Spanish cava. And add the quarter cup of Spanish brandy into the pitcher. For the final ingredient, I'm gonna grab a quarter cup of white sugar and add it into the pitcher. And I'm gonna gently mix this together that way all these flavors come together and that white sugar dissolves. And the secret here, guys, is you wanna make sure that you gently mix this together. That way those fruits don't fall apart. Once you have everything well mixed, it's time to add in the last ingredient, the star of the dish, the Spanish cava. Guys, make sure that you have your cava in the fridge and it's nice and chilled before you add it in there. The one I'm using is a brute. You wanna use a brute cava here. This one is not as sweet as the other ones. That way you can adjust the sweetness to the sangria to your liking. Now the best way to open up a bottle of sparkling wine, you wanna grab a dishcloth, put it over the cork and start twisting the bottle. You don't wanna twist the cork and you just try to take it out at the same time. And voila, look how easy that was, guys. It's party time. And I'm gonna slowly add in the Spanish cava into the pitcher. You don't wanna add this too fast. Otherwise, those bubbles are gonna overflow out of the pitcher. Once you've added all the cava in there, I'm gonna get in there and give this a gentle mix. That way, all these flavors can come together. Okay guys, our sangria de cava is done. This looks insanely delicious. So easy to make and it came together within minutes. I'm gonna pour myself some and let you guys know how this tried out. I'm gonna grab some ice. Add two cubes into a wine glass. And pour in some of the sangria de cava. And for the final touch, I'm gonna garnish our sangria with a slice of fresh orange. Okay guys, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this sangria de cava tastes. Now, well, you guys know that it's 12.40 in the afternoon here, so it's kind of early to get uh, started drinking, but you know what? It's 5 p.m. somewhere around the world, right? <laughs> here we go, cheers. What a beautiful friggin' flavor to this. Wow, you can't even taste alcohol. That's the scary part, because <laughs> you're gonna be downing this stuff. It's so good, seriously, guys. Spanish cava, Spanish brain, beautiful combination of fruits, guys. Serve this at your next party. Everybody's gonna go crazy. So easy to make, comes together within minutes. You don't have to leave it in the fridge to chill for a couple hours, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.